Welcome back to the Hudson Hangout. I am here, and Jeff Lipsky will be here soon. Jeff Lipsky is a famous photographer. He shoots for the Oscars, shoots for magazine covers that you've seen on the newsstand, and, ad- and, is in- and does advertising campaigns. And he's a dad of one of my brother's good friends, and I'm interviewing him today. Hello. Hello. How are you, Hudson? Good. Good. Now, let's get this interview on the road. All right. I'm going to say, how did you get into photography? I got into photography, well, ever since I was a little kid, I've always had a camera by my side, and I always just loved taking pictures, and I loved looking at pictures. So I always saw pictures um, of the old Life magazines and National Geographic. And I always loved seeing imagery, and I thought maybe one day that's what I would do. Ooh, cool. Nice. Um, how did you, how, did you like photography as a kid? I'm starting photography next week. Oh, well, I did like photography as a kid. It took me a little bit of time to figure out that that's what you can do for a living. <laughs> um, I didn't become a photographer until I was 33 years old. But um, I've always wanted to take pictures. And I think that uh, you're going to do it, be a you're going to, you don't have to be a photographer to be a, uh, you don't have to do it for a living because it's a great hobby to do as well. Nice. Thank you for the advice about that. And um, how did you break into professional photography? Well, it's sort of a, it's an interesting story. Um, I was living in Telluride, Colorado, and I was a ski bum. You know what a ski bum is? someone who just wants to ski every day and uh, i my job was skiing and um (laughs) i had a camera and um, my friend worked at the newspaper and he was he was the photographer and he was leaving the newspaper and he said hey um i'm leaving the paper but if you want to um take my job you can have it and my job was to shoot the front page of a local newspaper every day and uh, it was just basically, I was like, yes, of course. And I worked for the newspaper for um, a ski season. And then I decided, you know what, I think I want to move to Los Angeles and start shooting for magazines and do, and do advertising campaigns. And then I moved to Los Angeles to expand my career. That must have been awesome. It was great. It was great. I was so excited. It happened quick. Uh, That's the okay. short version. I can give you the longer version if you want. Whatever you would like. That's the, that's the abridged version. Um, well, basically, when I moved to Los Angeles and I had n- I knew very little about photography, um, even though I had just worked for a paper, the, the photography world out here was completely different. So I worked in a studio in their grip room and the grip room is where all the equipment is. And I worked there for free at night stocking the equipment room just so that I could get a chance to meet other photographers and other assistants. And when I was there, I met other photographers and other assistants and I would tug people's shirts and say, Hey, if you need anybody else to help you on the photo shoot, I could do it. So so while I was working in the grip room for free, I got to work with other photographers being their assistants. And then soon I wasn't in the grip room anymore. I was working as a full-time assistant, working for some of the biggest photographers in the world, lighting the sets, doing covers of Rolling Stone and covers of Vanity Fair and covers of Esquire and Vogue and all these great magazines. And I learned the business and for almost two and a half years, I worked for photographers as an assistant and then I got my big chance to do my own photo shoot. And ever since then, I've been shooting on my own. Nice. That must have been uh, fun to meet all the other photographers. Oh, it was great. I got to meet some of my favorite photographers of all time. It was amazing. Okay. As a professional photographer, how did you become famous and start working with famous clients? Well, when um, being um, shooting in L.A., um, a lot of um, imagery that is needed in L.A. is usually entertainment or celebrity based. 
So, you know, New York was more of the fashion side of photography and Los Angeles was more of the celebrity side of photography. And I had um, worked for some entertainment magazines taking portraits of some celebrities and that grew. And suddenly I was shooting the covers of those magazines and then you build a relationship with the people that you take pictures of. So if you take a picture of somebody and they liked the pictures that you took of them, they weren't, they want, they want to hire you again. And then you become um, a, a favorite photographer of some, of a celebrity and you start working with them more and more. Hmm. So. That must've been fun to work with celebrities. It has its, you know, it's like anything. It, um, it's interesting to take a picture of someone that you've always, um, that seemed familiar to, or it's always fun to take a picture of someone that you've always admired. It doesn't necessarily have to be a movie star. It could be a sports figure. It could be a writer. It could be an activist. It can be um, a politician. So someone that you've always, you know, have looked forward to taking their picture. Sometimes you get the chance to take their picture, which is really fun. Nice. Okay. How did you get the job taking photos at the, at the backstage of the Oscars of the people who won? Oh, well, that's and an exciting tell a job. a bit of the secrets about it? Oh, sure. Of course. You're so easy to talk to. I can spill all my secrets. Um, that job is one of my favorite jobs that I do every year. And I was shooting Jimmy Kimmel who was the host of the Oscars one year and they needed pictures of Jimmy Kimmel to advertise the Oscars. So when you go to, you know, you see a billboard, you see, you know, Jimmy Kimmel holding an Oscar and it says the Oscars this year are hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. You know, they need that imagery. So I would take those pictures of Jimmy and the Academy of uh, the, the Academy asked me, well, since you do the advertising of for the, for the Oscars, this was my first Oscars. He said, why don't you go backstage and you can do the archival portrait. And the archival portrait, everyone that's, that wins an Oscar, the Academy needs to put a picture of, a real a, a portrait of, not just a snappy, a snapshot, but like a pose portrait. So they let me go backstage about three or four days ahead of time. And I build a set and I build walls and I put a floor in and I make the backstage look like a, a different, place it's very small very tight and I get about depending upon how many you know sometimes I get one minute and sometimes I get five minutes with someone who won because they they're so startled when they come in that they're, they, they're I have to almost snap my fingers just to get them out of their days of excitement because they're so startled that they actually won an Oscar and sometimes I have like Sometimes I have like five or six Oscar statues just sitting next to me on the floor or I put them on a chair next to me. And it's kind of surreal because everyone in the world wants to hold that Oscar and I might have five or six of them just laying down next to me, which is really interesting. Um, something, in, what's, what's fun, what's something that happened? I remember Lady Gaga was supposed to only give me 30 seconds after she won an Oscar and she came into my studio and she said, she said, Jeff, I just want, you to take your time and take as many pictures as you can because I want to have these pictures for my family one day, which I thought was really nice that she said that. That's a little tidbit. That was nice. Okay, now I'm going to share a screen of a photo from your website okay. that is of an Oscar winner. Okay. I hope it's a good one. It is. Oh, Brad Pitt. It's Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. That was a tough picture to take. <laughs> Why was it tough? It was tough because Brad really wasn't in the mood to get his picture taken. He was, he came into the studio and he like three clicks on my camera. He was like, okay, we're done. And I was like, no, 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 no. I, I told him, I'm sorry, but I don't have it yet. I need a little bit more time. And I had a different camera. I shoot with different cameras and I had a beautiful old Leica camera and I knew that Brad loved old Leica. So I purposely had it around my neck and he goes, well, you can shoot me more with that camera. Huh. And so he sat back down and then I got more time with him shooting him with my Leica 
And then as he was ready to leave, because he was so forced and posed, as he was leaving the studio, that's him walking away with that smile. So you got to keep shooting until the very end. And that's how I got that picture. Ah. I, want to, I like to get people looking natural and real as possible. That's ah. the goal. Okay. So. Um, who has been your favorite person to meet? And mm. if you could meet any celebrity, who would you meet? Okay, so I'll take the later, latter of the question first. I always wished, and all my friends have shot this person or this couple, but I've always wanted to shoot Obama. Barack Obama was my number one. I was always wanted to go to the White House and take a picture of him or Michelle, who I love dearly. Um, I never got that opportunity and I still might get the opportunity. I've come very close. Um, and my favorite person that I've ever taken a picture of, that is a tough question. And usually it's, I have a short memory. So it, it used to be, no, it is. Well, Jason Momoa is up there. He plays Aquaman and he was one of the coolest people I've ever met. He was awesome. Um, I love people when, I, when you take a picture of someone and they're just so down to earth and so nice. Um, it makes things a lot easier. And I like people like that. So I think Jason Momoa. But, uh, but I, I like everybody. It's hard to pick a favorite. Don't quote uh, me on that. Okay. Where can people find you online and see your photos? Well, as a photographer, I have many different um, outlets to see my work. And the main one would be my website, which is just jefflipsky.com. And my Instagram, which is also a great place to see my work. It's more of the, um, it's more of a insider's look to what I do. And that is at Jeff Lipsky. So J-E-F-F-L-I-P-S-K-Y. And those are the two best places I would think to look at my work. Okay. See you next time at the Hudson Hangout. Thank you, Hudson. You're welcome.